Hi guys, today we are going to reveal all the most interesting facts about the worldwide series Mr. Bean, played by the one and only Rowan Atkinson. This is a fantastic family comedy show, which I'm sure all of you have seen. And now, here we have 17 facts about the Mr. Bean series and movies. Mr. Bean's original name. The original proposed name for the character was Mr. White. Names of vegetables were next, including Mr. Cauliflower, before ending with the choice of Mr. Bean. Where did Mr. Bean come from? Mr. Bean was based on a character originally developed by Rowan Atkinson while he was studying for his master's degree in electrical engineering at Oxford University. Worldwide audience. The show has been sold in over 245 territories worldwide. Last episode, what could have happened? When Rowan Atkinson was interviewed on a Danish TV program in 1993, he was asked about what would happen to Mr. Bean when the show ended. Atkinson stated that he and Robin Driscoll had an idea for the last episode, in which Mr. Bean witnessed a spacecraft landing in a field. Mr. Bean then walks up to the spaceship and encounters aliens that are 25 identical copies of himself and leaves with them aboard their spaceship which takes off into outer space. However, Rowan Atkinson and Robin Driscoll decided not to use it for the final episode. Mr. Bean's Diary In 1992, a tie-in book, Mr. Bean's Diary, was released. In the diary, Bean records his activities and plans, as well as his silly poems, doodles, and harebrained ideas for inventions. It offered an insight into the character's mind, displaying a rather misanthropic side to him. For example, his irrational dislike of one of his neighbors who he hadn't actually met. It also showed him expressing his love for Shirley Bassey. In the TV series, this was only hinted at by him having a framed picture of her. Mr. Bean's Holiday The original idea for Mr. Bean's Holiday was for Mr. Bean to go to Australia instead of France. Passport On his passport, it is revealed that Mr. Bean was born in Enfield on January 6, 1955. This is Rowan Atkinson's actual birthday though he was born in Consett County, Durham. Mr. Bean the Movie Mr. Bean was the most watched movie in Finland in 1997. Over 4,200,000 people saw it in theaters. This was the first movie to gross 100 million before being released to the US. Mr. Bean performed at the Olympics. When London hosted the Summer Olympics in 2012, Mr. Bean was on hand for the opening ceremony. There are only 15 episodes. Mr. Bean has just 15 episodes that air on television, but nonetheless, he became one of the most well-known characters of all time. Mr. Bean's Advertising Ventures Rowan Atkinson has appeared as Mr. Bean in advertising for many different companies around the world, including Nissan, Fujifilm, Snickers, M&M's, and Rima 1000 Supermarket in Norway. Atkinson can really wiggle his ears. Mr. Bean's legendary ear wiggle is one trait Atkinson has in common with his on-screen alter ego. While promoting Mr. Bean's holiday, ABC's David Stratton asked, perhaps the most crucial question of the entire interview, can you really wiggle your ears? To which Atkinson simply replied, yes I can. More trivia. For Mr. Bean the movie in 1997, Steve Martin, a self-confessed huge fan of Mr. Bean, wanted to play David Langley. The Mr. Bean movie in 1997 was going to end with Mr. Bean returning to the National Gallery, only to find it abandoned, so he ends up mailing himself back to the Langley family. In truth, the staff of the gallery staged the whole thing to drive Mr. Bean away. In the UK, 
the highest rated episode was Mr. Bean, The Trouble with Mr. Bean in 1992, which 18.74 million people viewed. Mr. Bean's flat completely changes between episodes. Mr. Bean's suit appears to be modeled after Jeff Goldblum's in The Fly. Rowan Atkinson and Jeff Goldblum appeared together in The Tall Guy. And here we have 17 facts about the great Mr. Bean. Let us know what you like about this character in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video.